Well, it's true. Jesus did say on the Sermon on the Mount that if we would ask, we would receive. Boy, that sounds wonderful, doesn't it? This is Pastor Hayton and the Lord Light's devotional today. And I want to examine that promise a little bit with you because I'm not so sure that we can take it all that literally. If it were just as simple as asking and getting whatever we wanted, well, we would be like a spoiled grandchild, wouldn't we? I know my grandkids are pretty well spoiled because they know they can ask granddad for just about anything. And if it's within the uh, power of granddad to, uh, to uh, grant that or to... Uh, if he has the resources, he's probably going to do it. But uh, that isn't what's always good for a child, is it? And I don't think it'd be good for us as children of God if God just gave us everything that we wanted and everything that we asked for. So I think we need to consider that verse for just a little bit. The promise, ask and you shall receive. Uh, I think that what he's really telling us there is that uh, there are certain things that are good. If we were to read on down into the scripture there, we would find where Jesus said, If you be good, know how to give good, if you being evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more shall the Heavenly Father give good gifts to them that ask Him? So it's got to be something that's good and something that's good for us before God's going to grant it. Now, grant God has promised that he would give us strength in our time of weakness. I think we're within the boundaries of God's promise to ask for renewed strength. I think God has promised to give us wisdom in the times of perplexity. And, uh, you know, if any man lack wisdom, let him ask of God. So we can ask for strength. We can ask for wisdom. I think a lot of times we need to... Uh, Ask God for a spirit of discernment. There are times that uh, we're facing troublesome times and we don't know what to do. And God can give us a spirit of discernment that can help us to discern just what is the right thing. So on and on we could go about the good things that we need. Strength and the wisdom, the discernment, uh, the knowledge that uh, will help us to... Uh, to grow up in Christ and be all that we ought to be. We can just ask God for all of that. But I think too that we can ask God for the provision of our daily need because He has certainly given us the promise through His Scripture that He would supply all of our need according to His riches in glory. And so we're within the boundaries of God's promise when we have a physical need, a material need, some temporal need, or even some spiritual need. I think that it's something that we ought to ask God for because it uh, is something that's good for us. So, you know, God's not going to give us everything that we wanted. Most of us would be living quite a different lifestyle today if it were just asking you shall receive. But uh, God's only going to give us what's good for us. He's only going to give us what He has promised through His Word to give us. And He's not going to give us every stinking thing that we ask for. And that's probably a good thing because I don't think it'd be good for us to be a spoiled child of God. But we can be a child of God that has His supply and has His strength for every need. So I'm glad for that verse of Scripture today. I'm not going to ask God for a new car. I'm not going to ask Him for a new home. I'm happy with what I have for one thing. But even then, if it were a real need, we could ask God. God's promised to supply all of our need according to His riches in glory. Heavenly Father, thank You for Your promise that if we will ask, we shall receive. But may we recognize that... Uh, you're only going to give us that which is good, strength in weakness, wisdom in our, in our ignorance, discernment in the times of confusion, uh, the supply of all of our needs. We want to thank Thee, Lord, for the promise that God has given, that if we would ask, we would receive. Bless us on down throughout life. May we live a life wholly dependent upon God. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen. 
Well, thanks for letting me share. I'll see you tomorrow here on the Lower Lights Devotional with Pastor Hayton. Goodbye now.